I am in the Aral Sea, but actually I see no sea. Uh, I see a sea of desert, I see a sea of sand, and it is certainly one of the biggest environmental disasters in the world, where over-harvesting of water has led to a water body so big that it was called a sea, but it is fresh water that has stopped flowing and is now transforming the entire space into a desert of sand and salt. I see a lot of hard work that is being done by the government of Uzbekistan to mitigate the impact and to uh, restore the land. We are here under conditions where over summer you can have very high temperatures and on winter you have very low temperatures. So the amplitude is 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. Just imagine this. We are here in a situation where there is a lot of salt water, so even though uh, there are Herculean efforts to restore the land, if there is no fresh water, it becomes extremely difficult to do anything. We are here where scientists have proven that it is possible, despite these difficult conditions, to do something meaningful. You see, these are three to four years old uh, plantations that are already having their impact and their effects in stopping the movement of the sand dunes. My takeaway from this is that um, mistakes were made in the past, uh, probably uh, underestimated, underestimating the capacity of nature to provide unlimited resources. In this case, it was water. Uh, my takeaway also is that despite these difficult conditions, with a political vision, and I, we understand that the President of the Republic visited this place, and it is remarkable that with a political vision, with a political will from the leadership of the country, you can actually transform extremely Harsh, full, hard, harsh conditions into uh, a more livable uh, condition. I was very impressed by uh, the scientists and the research and innovation uh, group that are trying to find different solutions. And the research that I have seen is basically identifying solutions to adapt to the new condition. So again, Paral C is a story. It is one of the worst, worst stories, environmental disasters we see in the world. We have, the whole world has to learn lessons from this, and then we as humanity should learn from it and avoid such circumstances, such situations from happening somewhere else in the world.